tension grows, Moscow is the scene of Prime Minister Stalin's birthday, and from all satellite nations, communist followers pay homage to the high priest of Marxism. Here, on his 70th birthday, Stalin rules the hard core of world communism, which has divided the world into two armed camps. Proof of this division is the unrest evidencing itself in other parts of the world. Here, communist marchers are rioting in Tokyo. Both American and Japanese police are obliged to adopt stern measures after one GI has been injured. Elections have given the commies only one seat in the parliament, which may outlaw the party altogether. The demonstration was timed to precede the election, which gave the party supporting General MacArthur's policies an overwhelming majority. What they can't accomplish in a free election, they attempt by violence. Berlin, too, is the scene of smoldering communist unrest. Western occupation forces go on a round-the-clock alert, ready for the communist youth push that would put the entire city in Soviet hands. For weeks, the Red Sector is kept aflame with every propaganda device in the commie repertoire. On the appointed day, as the parade gets underway, Berlin steals itself for violence. The vaunted gathering of half a million dwindles as the conquest of Berlin resolves itself to insults to the Western powers.